Karna, also known as Vasusena, Angaraj and Radheya, is one of the main protagonists of the Hindu epic Mahabharat. He is the son of the sun god Surya and princess Kunti and thus a demigod of royal birth. He was born with an armor known as Kavach and earrings known as Kundal that protected him from all forms of terrors. To know about the death of Karna, it is important to know the two curses that influenced his death. These two curses were given to him by his Guru Parashuram and a Brahman. During his early days, like Pandavas and the Kauravas, Karna was also a student of Dronacharya. Once he approached Dronacharya and requested him to teach him about Brahmastra and the art of releasing and withdrawing it. Dronacharya thought about the Brahmastra only to his favorite disciple Arjuna and partially to his son Ashwatthama, so he refused to teach Karna about Brahmastra. After being refused by Dronacharya, he decided to learn about Brahmastra from Parashuram. Parashuram is the guru of Dronacharya. But there was one problem. Lord Parashuram only took Brahmans as his disciple and Karna was not a Brahmin. Thus, Karna presented himself before Parashuram as a Brahmin without revealing his true identity. Parashuram accepted him as a student. He trained him to the point that he declared Karna to be equal to himself in the art of warfare and archery. He also taught him about Brahmastra and the technique of releasing and withdrawing it. One day after the training, Karna offered his lap to his Guru Parashuram to rest and take a nap. While Parashuram was sleeping, a terrible scorpion bit Arjuna's thigh. Karna did not move as he did not want to disturb his guru's sleep. His thigh was pierced and eventually blood started oozing out of his thighs. When Parashuram woke up, he saw the blood coming out of Karna's wound. He immediately figured out that Karna was not a Brahmin. He knew that a wound so severe would not be tolerated for so long by a Brahmin. Parashuram became very angry as Karna had lied to him about being a Brahmin for the greed of knowledge. He cursed Karna that when he gets engaged in a fight with someone equal to him in strength and skills, during that time Brahmastra will not manifest itself before him. After hearing this, Karna becomes very sad and feels guilty for his offense and leaves the ashram. The second curse of Karna was also during his time in Parashuram's ashram. Once he was roaming around alone with a sword and a bow. Seeing no one around, he started practicing his archery skills with his bow and arrow. But accidentally, he kills a cow. The Brahman to whom the cow belonged gets very angry. He curses him to be killed by his enemy when his attention is diverted in the middle of a combat. He said, O worst of men, when you clash against your foe and are distracted because of the wheel of your chariot has been devoured by the earth, he will exhibit his valour and severe your head. Karna grows up to be a great charitable man and was often referred as Danvir. Indra, the king of Devas, realised that Karna would be invincible and nobody will be able to kill him as long as he had his Kavach and Kundal. Indra approaches Karna as a poor Brahmin and asked for his Kavach and Kundal as arms. Surya, the father of Karna, already warned Karna of Indra's intentions, but Karna explained to him that he is bound by his word and could not send anyone from his door empty-handed. So when Indra approaches him as a Brahmin, he already knew that it was Devaraj Indra. Still, he gave his Kavach and Kundal to Indra. Indra was moved by Karna's gesture and asked him to accept a gift in return. Karna initially refused the offer, saying that he did not give charity expecting anything in return. But after the request of all gods, sages and celestial beings, he asked for Vasavi Shakti, also known as the Indra Shakti. Indra granted the boon with the condition that Karna could use this weapon only once. 
Right before the Kurukshetra war, Krishna requested Karna to fight from the side of the Pandavas by revealing his true identity. Krishna reveals to Karna that he was the eldest son of Kunti. His true father was Surya himself. He was the eldest brother of the Pandavas. Krishna implores him to change sides with the assurance that Yudhishthir will give his crown to him. Draupadi, who rejected him earlier, will be his wife. Also, Duryodhan will be happy seeing his friend getting the crown. But Karna refused the offer, saying that for him, Duryodhan's friendship was more valuable than anything. Duryodhan helped him when nobody did. He could not betray Duryodhan. Krishna was saddened but appreciated Karna's loyalty and accepted his decision. He also promised Karna that he will not reveal his true identity to the Pandavas. Krishna had failed to lure Karna to fight from the side of the Pandavas. So he approached Kunti and asked her to influence Karna. Kunti, in desperation, approached Karna and revealed his true identity and asked him to join the Pandavas and not fight with his own brothers. Karna was emotionally weakened but rejected her offer. Kunti knew about the rivalry between Karna and Arjuna. So she asked Suryaputra Karna to promise that he will not kill any of the Pandavas. Karna promised her that he will not kill any of the Pandavas except Arjuna. He also promises to not use the same celestial weapon twice against Arjuna. Karna assures her that at the end of the war she will still have five sons left, the fifth being either Arjuna or Karna himself. He also requests her mother to keep their relationship a secret till the end of the war. Otherwise, Pandavas, knowing that Karna was their eldest brother, will not fight with him in the Dharma Yuddha. This was the third factor that led to Karna's death, choosing the side of Adharma by staying indebted to his friend Duryodhan. During the dark hours of the 14th day of the Kurukshetra war, Ghatotkach, Bhima's half Asura son, destroyed the Kaurava force and also injured Dronacharya. He was able to do so as Asuras gained extraordinary power during the night time. Karna becomes enraged and uses his Vasavi Shakti against Ghatotkach and killed him. Krishna was relieved with the fact that Karna could no longer use this weapon against Arjuna. On the 16th day, Karna fights all the Pandavas except Arjuna. He defeated all of them in a direct combat but spared each one of them after insulting them. He spared their lives because of his promise to Mother Kunti that he will not kill any of the other Pandavas except Arjuna. After defeating the four Pandava brothers, he ordered his charioteer, Shalya, to move towards Arjuna. Karna arms himself with Nagastra. Shalya tells him to aim at Arjuna's chest, but he ignored his advice and aimed at Arjuna's head. Krishna saves Arjuna from death by lowering their chariot wheel into the earth, and the arrow strikes Arjuna's crown instead of his head. On the seventeenth day, Arjuna and Karna were face to face again. Everyone, including Devas, celestial rishis, Apsaras and Gandharvas, witnessed this battle between the two greatest warriors. The fight started between Arjuna and Karna. In the middle of the war, suddenly Karna's chariot wheel was trapped in mud as a result of the curse he received from the Brahmin. Karna still defended himself but eventually forgets the mantra to invoke the Brahmastra due to the curse of his Guru Parshuram. Karna asks Arjuna to pause as he gets down from his chariot to free the wheel. He reminded Arjuna of the etiquette of the war, but Krishna encouraged Arjuna to attack Karna against the rules of the war. Arjuna attacked Karna when he was trying to lift the wheel of his chariot. As per the rules of the war, though it was prohibited to attack a weaponless warrior or to attack an enemy from behind, 
Arjuna attacked the weaponless Karna from the back and killed him as suggested by Krishna. It is often reminded that one should also remember that Karna did the same to Abhimanyu during the war and it was his deeds that resulted in his fall and death in the Kurukshetra war in Mahabharata.